What are the economics of that for you? I mean, you, you have enormous resources, so you can actually keep this company going for a very long time. Would you keep it going for a long time if there was no advertising? I mean, if the company fails because of an advertised boycott, it will fail because of an advertised boycott. And that will be what bankrupted the company, and that's what everybody on Earth will know. But what do you think, then, of the... I guess, this goes back to the idea of trust, though. Then and it'll I, be gone. And it'll be gone because of an advertised boycott. But, but you recognize that some of those people are going to say that they didn't feel comfortable on the platform. And I, I, want, I just wonder and ask you, and think about that for a Tell second. Tell it to the judge. But the, but the judge is going to be... Uh, the judge is the public. And you think that the public is going to say that, that Disney is making a mistake? Yes. And they're going to boycott Disney? They already are. Well, there are, there are some that are for, for, for lots of different reasons. But you think that this is going to, that you have the, this goes to actually the interesting of, 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 of power saying, and leverage. Let the chips fall where they may. Let the chips fall where they may. When someone says, let the chips fall where they may, what do they mean? Let the chips fall where they may simply means let the consequence of what they may. The phrase is usually used when one is doing everything one can to achieve a certain outcome. But at a certain point, the outcome is out of one's hands, and whatever will happen, will happen. Let the chips fall where they may is an American idiom that came into use in the late 1800s and refers to wood chips scattering as one chops wood. The image is of one concentrating on the work at hand, not on the inconsequential chips of wood. Can I ask what, why that is the approach? And I, I ask it because you've been What's very... What's the other approach? Well, you've been very particular about the, I mean, the approach to Tesla. Uh, when you think about the engineering involved in that, the approach to SpaceX, the approach to... Um, some of the stuff you're doing with, with AI has been very specific, right? There's not a let, let the chips fall where they may approach to those businesses, I don't think. No, we focus on making the best products. And, and, and Tesla's gotten to where it's gotten with no advertising at all. I understand that. Tesla currently sells uh, two, twice as much uh, in terms of electric vehicles as the rest of uh, electric car makers in, in the United States combined. Tesla has done more to help the environment than uh, all other companies combined. It would be fair to say that, therefore, as a leader of the company, I've done more for the environment than everyone else, any single human on Earth. 